All right, let's go 155. This is the uh, State of Ohio High School Girls Wrestling Preview brought to you by Bodycraft Fitness. And listen, I at first at first glance at 155, I'm thinking it's going to be the Kylie Tate, Savannah Holderby show and everybody else be damned. But listen, there are 19, 19 returning state qualifiers in this bracket. You say, well, how can that be? And there's only 16 that go to the state tournament. Obviously, there are some that qualified in years prior that didn't make it to the Schottenstein Center last year. This is the deepest weight. It just is. Um, yes, you have Tate and Holderby at the top, one and two. Tate is one, Holderby two. And yes, you've got a little bit of a rivalry going between those two. And I think everybody else is going to be gunning for them because of their, um, you know, their, their success in tournaments and at the state tournament last year because a lot of these girls that were state qualifiers have beat each other and the rankings will reflect that. But you gotta you got to take into account at one time or another the experience that these girls are all bringing to the mat at 155 pounds. So let's dive into it. Nationally ranked number 18, Kylie Tate, is going to be your number one ranked wrestler at this weight class. She's a senior from Warren. She is a three-time state place winner. She started out in 2021 taking sixth. 2022, she took runner-up, and last year she won it. In a highly anticipated match between her and the then freshman Holderby, who was more or less the front runner all year long. Um, Fargo All American had come into her freshman campaign being ranked number one and saw an injury bug, not to make an, an excuse against Tate, as Tate put together what she had to do in order to win that finals match. Kylie Tate is going to be your front runner and wears the crown until Holderby can get that rematch and knock her off um, at the state tournament, quite frankly. So you've got one, Kylie Tate. You've got two, Savannah Holderby. She makes a move from Reynoldsburg to Westfall, and she's going to be the sophomore ranked number two. Um, she is also nationally ranked at number 23 in the nation. Megan Werbridge from Taylor finds herself at number three. Now, she didn't qualify, so she's one of the ones that didn't qualify last year. But listen, she's a two-time state place winner. So she doesn't get to go to the Schottenstein Center. You think that doesn't motivate her this year? A runner-up the year before at 145. A runner-up the year before at 145. And a runner-up the year before that at 137. Megan Werbridge knows how to get it done. She knows how to get to the, the finals matches. She was not able to qualify last year. So you got to think the third-ranked re uh, wrestler, senior from Taylor, is going to be gunning for the top of the podium this year as well. Michaela Newland did qualify last year. She's currently uh, ranked number four. She took third last year and fifth the year before. She's a senior. She's going to be gunning for the top of the podium as well. Isabella Adams is somebody that you're going to see in tournaments that knows how to get it done too. She's two-time state place winner. She's a junior. She's ranked number five. She took fourth two years in a row at the state tournament, Isabella Adams from Chippewa. Jada Patrick, another name that we've seen for a while. She's a senior. She goes to Alliance. Alliance has a great wrestling program, girls wrestling program there um, to go to go along with the, the storied um, uh, boys, um, hi historical boys program that they have there. But the girls are putting on um, a big move up there in Alliance. Jada Patrick is a part of that. She's currently ranked number six. She's a two-time state place winner. Um, she took eighth last year. She got beat by early on by Holderby, and that was one of the um, um, the reasons why she moved right down into the consolation bracket right off the bat. She, she takes eighth, but two years prior to that, in 2021, she took third at 150 pounds. So again, all the way down at six, we have Jada Patrick that knows how to get it done. Soraya Mahmood. Soraya is uh, ranked number number eight. She's from Olentangy Orange. She's a two-time state place winner herself. She took. Uh, she's a senior, gunning for um, moving up the podium. She took eighth last year, as I mentioned. She took fifth the year before. That's Soraya Mahmood from Olentangy Orange. Jada Weiss from Bellbrook is ranked number nine. She is a junior. And she is a state place winner from two years ago. Didn't qualify last year. So she's one of the ones that uh, took eighth two years ago. 
Down at 120 pounds two years ago, Jada Weiss from Bellbrook is ranked nine. Ranked 10, Maya Reeves from Port Clinton, a two-time state qualifier senior. Emma Bolyard is ranked 11 from Hilliard Darby, a junior returning state qualifier. Katie Hammersmith from Marysville, a returning state qualifier who is a sophomore. Natasha Knight at 13, Hillsboro um, sophomore, is a returning state qualifier. <laughs> you want me to keep going? I'm going to name a bunch. I'll just skip down to um, all the way down at uh, ranked 17 is Emma Watkins uh, from Watkins Memorial. She's a senior state qualifier. 19, Hattie Hobar, ranked number 19 from Avon Lake, is the senior. She's a, a state qualifier from two years ago and didn't qualify last year, but look, you've got her um, currently ranked number 19. So it shows you the depth of 155. Don't just take this as face value as you got these top two and the rest are gonna have to figure it out because again, there's a lot of experience in this bracket at 155. And that's the preview I got for you, State of Ohio, brought to you by Bodycraft Fitness.